I had a clock for lunch or for breakfast this morning. Very time consuming. I'm Jack. I'm Ricky. Welcome to Bear News. For sports today, our varsity Rocket League team will have a game at 5. Also, our JV Rocket League team will be having their game at 4. Also, counting from one of our uh, softball players, a video commemorating Mr. Clements. Let's see it. Man of crazy intelligence and sports knowledge. One of Noble High School's favorite teachers. Personally, one of my two favorite teachers. But this isn't just about him. This is about something he took back. In 2015, when Mr. Clement thought he coached his last game. After he left, we struggled to keep a coach. Every year of playing softball, we had different coaching staff, and it felt like we had a different program every year. For once, out of my high school softball career, I've never felt like I've had a supportive coach until Coach Clement. If someone has a problem with anything, you can go to Coach Clement if it's a problem at home, school, or work. I asked him a couple questions about this season, and let's see how it's going to be. I think that we have a really good shot of making the state tournament this year. Uh, as long as we can come together at the end of the season, we have plenty of talent, plenty of work ethic, plenty of love for the game. Amazingly good human beings play the game of softball here in this community, and it's, uh, it's really good to be a part of helping them develop and uh, be, be their best. Um, I'd like to see us continue to come together and play more consistently at our best. Um, so far, uh, we've shown that our best is better than most people in the state. And if we can get to a point where we are consistently playing at that level, uh, it's going to be a really fun end to the season. Uh, we are young. And with young players, uh, they're very um, impressionable. And so, if we can just get things moving in the right direction and uh, have strong leadership from here on out, I think that is a thing that could really be of a big benefit to us. Um, so our hope is that our team is a, a, a girl-driven team, that our leadership comes from uh, on the field and our leadership comes from in the dugout but is not me. I'm, I simply would like to have the role of facilitator in trying to get everything run in a good and positive direction. Seeing the girls succeed. Uh, seeing them do things that they've never done before and reaching new heights. Wow. Um, <laughs> One of the things about fast pitch that is, is kind of regrettable at times is um, how important one position is. Um, we are fortunate here that uh, our player players that are in that position are high character people. And um, what I find sometimes is that um, sometimes teams can be really strong in one spot and we can outwork them or outplay them in every spot and sometimes you know if we are just maybe not quite as good as them in one spot it can make a world of difference. Man, we are so lucky to have a great coach and a teacher. Yeah, that right, Rick. Anyways, we have another video for you coming up, brought to you by me, this, this guy. Uh, what What did you do? I did an interview with uh, Mr. Dunkelberg over the Peter Pan play. Let's, Let's see, see it. it. So I am Kevin Dunkelberg. I am the speech drama and this year film teacher here at Noble High School. This is my second year here at the high school. So the thinking behind choosing Peter Pan for our fall show was there were a few reasons. Uh, number one, it's a classic story. It's um, a title that everybody knows. So our hope is to just excite people and, and get a lot of people out. And this specific adaptation, um, which is written by John Jory, who is a theater director and playwright, 
is a fresh take on the story. Um, I don't want to give too much away, but it is very much sort of updated. Um, and so even if you know the story, you've maybe seen the movie a bunch of times, you've seen the musical version or another stage version of Peter Pan, this adaptation is a, is a brand new, fresh way to experience the story. And it also offered a lot of opportunities, not just for actors, it's a big cast, it's a big story to tell, but it also offered a lot of opportunities for design um, and lighting, sound, costumes, all of that. Um, it's a very atmospheric play, so I thought that it was a really good fit for us. So we started rehearsals early September. So um, about two and a half, almost three months now, we have been at it. We rehearse about uh, three days a week, generally, sometimes a little more. Um, so we've been putting in uh, quite a few hours. So my favorite part, particularly now that we're getting towards the end of rehearsals, as we get closer to performances, and we're getting into just our rehearsals are just, they fully run through the, the whole show. So I kind of just get to sit back and watch them create the magic on stage and bring their characters to life. Um, I certainly take notes and, and we tweak things, but I get to watch them really start to have fun and embrace their characters. This is the part of the process where it really starts to become their play. And so they're really leaning into the, the silliness of it, the fun of their characters, and just discovering new little moments and creating funny little moments with each other every rehearsal. So that is my favorite part um, right now, is just getting to watch that unfold. So we will have performances uh, Thursday, November 10th through Saturday, November 12th at 7.30 p.m. And then that Sunday the 13th at 2 p.m. in the Den Auditorium. Tickets are um, $7 for adults. We are doing special discounted tickets for students. They are $3. And if you are a school teacher or a member of a school staff, either here at Noble or anywhere um, in Oklahoma, they are $5. And you can buy those online by scanning the QR code on the posters around the building. You can come to my room, W104, and buy a ticket. Or you can just buy a ticket at the door um, when you come to the theater. All right, man, I can't wait to see that play. I'm not going to watch it. Also, uh, follow-up of yesterday's announcement, or I guess we didn't. Uh, our Varsity Rocket League team uh, won their two games for the season, or for the tournament. Finally, the moment you've been waiting for is senior night, past tonight. We down on the field at 7, 7 p.m. We are playing against Lutton Mac, and that determines if our football team goes off to the playoffs. Uh, if you can't watch it live, watch it at uh, NobleBears.tv. I'm uh, Jack. Yeah, we, we won uh, NobleBears.tv. There we do. I'm Jack. And I'm Ricky. Signing, Signing off. off. Dude, we got to go.